Okay, so first what I'm going to do is apply something to even out my eye area. I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Crayon Concealer. This is in medium deep. Now what I'm going to do is apply my foundation, the Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Foundation from CoverGirl. This is in the shade Golden Tan or number 305. I'm going to start with that much and build it up if I need to. I'm just going to use an e.l.f. powder brush. You can use this for liquid too, it doesn't really matter. And as you can see, compared to the other side of my face, it covers really well. Even though I don't have too much to cover, I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation around my mouth area. And you can see that covers that really well. And it's buildable. You see how I just added another layer? And it kind of creates more coverage. I wouldn't go so far to say that it's full coverage, but you do get a pretty good bit of coverage using this. And I am adding more to the back of my hand, little by little. So I would say it's more of a sheer to light to medium coverage. And medium is pushing it a little bit. Also a good thing about this foundation, this is a little bit lighter than the rest of my foundations. However, it blends really well into my skin. So if you're kind of a shade off, then it will probably work for you. It blends really well with your complexion. I mean, I guess that's why they have that. It's the name. But I did get mine from Walgreens and I made the Beauty Advisor let me try some before I bought it. I don't have time. I mean, I know they have a good return policy, but I don't have time to be going back and returning stuff when I could just get the right color the first time. So I tried it on before I bought it, and this matched pretty well. For the concealer, I did get a couple shades lighter because that's what I normally do. This is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer in the shade Medium. So really, really light. But I like the highlighted look. I'm gonna take a few dots. Another thing about this concealer is, as well. It blends to your skin, so even though it looks extremely light, it's not going to be. I'm going to take a Sedona Lace 224 to blend this out. So I'm going to kind of tap it into place at first. Once you get it to the coverage that you want it to look, then you want to start blending it out. And you can see how well it covers compared to the other side, even though I've put that stuff down there. If you look close to underneath my eyes, it covers really well and it really highlights the area. So it kind of gives you like a nice radiant highlight without looking too harsh. You can add more if you need to. I want a little more coverage, so I'm building it up a little bit. I'm putting two drops this time. Now this can crease, so you want to make sure you're kind of stretching while you blend it out instead of trying to blend it like this because it's going to crease. For those of you that don't know, I have really dry skin, and though this concealer is really creamy, if you have dry skin, it can tend to look dry if you put it underneath your eyes, so I do recommend using some type of eye cream underneath, let that sit, let that dry, and then apply your concealer on top so that you won't see any dryness underneath your eye area. And as you can see, really great coverage there. I'm going to take what's left on the brush and kind of go over my eye. My face is all nice and even. You can set this with a powder if you want. They do have a powder in the collection, actually, but I read it and it said something about control and shine. I don't have that problem, so I figured with my really dry skin, that would not be a feasible option for me. So if you guys have oily skin, combination to oily, you could definitely try that on top if you want more coverage or if you want more of a shine-free control to kind of give me more warmth to my face. I'm taking the Sienna Baked Bronzer from Milani Cosmetics. This is one of their newer bronzers. If you're interested in a review, um, just check the information box. I'll have it down there. I have a link to a blog post and also a video. For a uh, bronzer and brush, I'm using the MAC 165. Really gorgeous color. I'm just going to apply some mascara to my lashes. This is the Flamed Up Mega Curl from CoverGirl. I'm going to take a Ben Nye one. This one is called Coral Red. I'm using a colorful online blush brush to apply it very lightly. I'm gonna go over with my foundation brush because I put a little too much. To keep it along with the red theme, I'll use Unstoppable Mineral Lipstick from Motives Cosmetics. 
So I have my hair combed down and everything. So I'm just going to zoom in and show you what it looks like at 11.04 a.m. See my under eyes in there. So after this take, I'll insert some pictures with and without flesh to show you how it looks at this time. And then I'll be back in a few hours throughout the day. I'll even show you after I finish working out tonight how it's going to look after I've sweat my behind off. So I will see you later. I don't know if you guys could see it earlier, but this is my under eye area. I just really wanted, to use, wanted you to see it. And then again, this is 11.05 a.m. So that's what my under eye area looks like. It's starting to crease already. And even with the eye cream, you can kind of see where it's kind of drying up around my eyes. And I'll just let you guys know throughout the day how that goes on. So now what I'll do is insert some pictures at this time with and without flesh. Hey guys, I am back with you to tell you how my foundation is doing. It is now, you probably cannot see that, my brightness is turned down, I have nosy people at work. It's 3.48 p.m. It's been about almost five hours. So, zoom in too to show you up close. The concealer is kind of like how it was earlier. It's creased a little more. Um, some of the coverage has gone away. I have redness that's starting to peek through a little bit but that's about it as far as the concealer I didn't use that on top of my eyes so that's irrelevant but on the bottom it's starting to crease a little more and some of my actual coverage is going away so that's kind of a bummer so as far as lasting coverage it doesn't seem I'm sorry y'all need to be in my teeth like that <laughs> as far as like long wear coverage this is not a concealer for you it's not gonna last well, it doesn't on me. I'm not. I'm, this is all my opinions. These are all my opinions. So, as far as how it's gonna hold up on you, it totally varies. This is just how it goes on me. And again, I do have dry skin, so that might be a factor. I'm not really sure. But as far as the foundation, it still looks really nice. I love the foundation. Like, like I told you earlier, I have like pigmentation around my lips or my mouth area. That's not focused. There we go. And I haven't done any type of touch-ups or anything like that, and it still looks good. I did eat so my lips are kind of oof that's why I got a lipstick ring down here so I will return again later on before I go work out and I will show you how it holds up I'll insert some pictures here it is 9.02 p.m. just got done working out I unlock my screen and show you the time real fast 9.02 and I'll zoom in and show you the final wear of the makeup. So as I said, I just got done working out so I got my little sweat, part of my eyebrows come off, my hair is all wet and disgusting. But as you can see, the makeup is pretty much still intact as far as the foundation. It's a little bit of removal along my chin jaw area or jawline, which is normal because I do wipe my face when I have sweat. But to say I've done all of that, and it's still there pretty much. The concealer has pretty much disappeared. That was to be expected because it was kind of fading away the last time I showed you. So that was to be expected. As far as the makeup, it's a really great foundation, really affordable foundation. And if you don't plan on wearing an extremely long, like an extremely long period of time, you know, then it'll be a great option for you. As far as water resistance, semi, but if you're going to be wiping your face, Maybe if you set it with powder, it will increase the longevity, but for the most part, it's a really great foundation. It's great for what I want it for. I don't really wear my makeup longer than eight hours a day anyway, so I wouldn't have that type of problem. And you saw I did put it on around 11 this morning, and it's almost been 12 hours, and my face makeup still looks pretty good. So, really great foundation. Definitely check out the Ready, Set, Gorgeous foundation from CoverGirl. As far as the concealer, it's not one of my favorites. 
I probably wouldn't repurchase. I mean, you have to reapply it throughout the day. I don't have time for re reapply my makeup. Some people do that. Some people touch up. I'm not one of those people. I just want to wear something and never have to put it on for the rest of the day until the next day when I get ready to put my makeup on again. Definitely check out a full detailed review on my blog of both of these products. Also have pictures, final pictures in this video. And then I have pictures of each time I showed you my makeup on my blog. And I'll talk to all of you guys soon. Thanks for watching.